Okay, since I had to empty out my dark room to uh, recoat the sink since I had to sand it, well, I took the opportunity to go on and put the ventilation system in since I've got it empty and you know I'd have to be cutting some drywall. So this is the intake and what I did was purchase this 12 inch by 12 inch, basically a one foot square filter grate off of Amazon. And this is between two studs. And I pre-planned this when I was framing in the dark room. Uh, these two studs have a light baffle that I put in. It's basically three pieces of wood. There's one here, about three inches down, about three inches, and they alternate. And there's a gap on the far side, a gap here, and a gap on the far side again. And it's all painted black. So that runs between the studs. Then down here, I put in this filter grate, which is uh, holds 12 inch filters. Easy to change. See, just like that. Uh, and this will sit right behind my uh, print drying rack. So, ostensibly, when the fan's on, filtered air will flow gently across the prints. So, pardon my messy basement, but out here, you can see I cut a hole and it's measured around a, a grate that'll go over that. I've already pre-drilled the holes into the studs and just to make it look nice, I painted the inside matte black. Later today, I'll be painting this wall. I've never gotten around to painting this drywall out here. I'll at least get it primed. Um, just to make it look a little nicer. My basement's just a really big storage room. So, except for this finished room here. So, uh, next step is once that's done, uh, under over the sink, I will have a seven, seven and a half foot, two inch PVC pipe, which will be mounted to the wall the entire length of the sink and we'll turn and go through the wall right there and it'll come out on the other side of the wall go straight up and there'll be a shelf above that'll have a inline fan it's like i said it'll go straight up there outside the wall to a shelf there's an inline fan i've purchased that uh sits on a shelf and it's tied to this out this switch right here there's an outlet up there on the outside wall so that, that pipe will have holes drilled in it all along, quite a few actually, with a cap on one end, obviously. And uh, that will take the fumes right off the sink. So once I get start putting that in, then I'll uh, show you all how I do that. Okay, putting the ventilation pipe in. Um, as you can see, I've got a seven foot, foot length of two inch PVC. I wasn't able to get the ventilation grade PVC, so this is schedule 40, which is plumbing grade, but that's okay. Uh, what I've done is I've gotten several of these. These are mounting brackets for the clamp system that holds the PVC in place. And uh, this is what they look like. They're simple clamp and they have a, basically a threaded rod, which I'll have to cut to length that will, I've already mounted these at uh, 32 inch intervals, but they'll essentially screw into that. So you see, I have to obviously cut them and it will hold the, the PVC about about right there. So it's gonna run pretty much the length of the sink. Good enough, and once I get it mounted and level where I want it, then I'll take a 90 degree elbow, which will turn and go right into the wall about right here. Come out on the other side, we'll turn up, 
with another elbow, like so, and then if I put herself up, it'll transition from a two, two inch to a three inch, and which will be this pipe here, it's two feet long, and then it'll take a turn from a three inch to a four inch, and just a very short stretch of pipe, and then go into the fan, which will be up on the shelf. So once I get it mounted, I'll come back and show you how that went. Uh, obviously this pipe, I will be drilling a bunch of holes in it that'll face downwards. And then on the end will be a simple PVC cap. Now I'm actually not gonna glue any of this together. There's no need to. I will use uh, silver furnace duct tape. Okay, we're making progress. That's how it's gonna look. Um, definitely gonna have to build my wa print washer stand because the print washer used to sit right here, but that's great. The plan is I've already got the wood measurements to build that that'll put about a 18, 15 inch wide or so, probably 15 inch wide by 30 inches standing that tall with some shelves for storage down below, you know, so this is awesome. I managed to get the, the sand off the UPC codes that would have been sticking out in front, so it's clean and white. This is on there really good and tight. Love these clamps, they were worth the, I think I paid uh, about six bucks Maybe about eight bucks a piece with the with the rod and with the uh, wall mount. I had to go down to a plumber supply house and uh, got a couple of ones for the three inch that'll be outside of the wall as it goes up up there on the outside of the wall. So this is looking great. I'll uh, be back once I get the hole drilled and get it through the wall and. We'll start up the outside. All right, the ventilation system is now functional. It's just venting into the other room, but it'll take me a little while to um, get it run out the house. That's, that's a much bigger job, but at least I can get a little bit of airflow in the room. I don't know if you can hear it or not. That is actually on high. It's about, I think it's 400 cubic feet a minute. Uh, like I said earlier, I've got this uh, intake vent over here, it has a filter in it, 12 inch by 12 inch, so pretty standard filters. Uh, caps working, you can't see the holes, they're all on the other underside. 50 3 8 inch holes uh, run along the bottom. Uh, it goes out the wall, I need to get a little bit of caulk and caulk around there. But what do you like coming in? So it's pretty quiet. Oh, and it's on this switch right here. Okay, that's my light switch for the room. So one of the light switches. Got another one over there. Another one by the door, along with the safe light switch. Let's go out here in my messy basement. You can see where I put everything. And I simply use the silver furnace duct tape because I want to be able to redo this if I have to and I don't want to use PVC glue. So you can see it goes from a two inch to a three inch and that converter there, the corner, the elbow goes from a three to a four and into the fan. And the reason I did the fan like that on the shelf if that fan craps out on me or I want a bigger fan or a smaller fan, it's going to be a lot easier to deal with out there than, say, stuck up in the ceiling somewhere where I got to do drywall and all that. And it has speed adjustment right here. Like I said, I've got it on. Oh, there's maximum right there. Okay. So I've got it on about like that, but we'll play around with the flow rates, see how it does, but uh, kind of. Anyway, I am pretty pumped about this. So now I've got to get the dark room put back together. Okay, I'm back. Uh, as you 
which you can see I've got the dark room put back together. And I just wanted to do one final segment here to show you the effectiveness of the exhaust system or the ventilation system. I'm going to go in here, turn it on. Oops, that's the power. Lights, turn it on. You can hear it fired up. Actually, have it up full high speed, so it's really not too bad. You can see I clocked around there. It is light tight. When I turn the lights off in the room, I get no light in there. Now, you can't see the holes, but if I come up under here, you can see it's pretty close, but every two inches along where that red writing is that you can't see from the top, I drill three eighths inch holes. So what I'll do, just to show you how this works, it runs seven feet on an eight foot sink. So you're just a couple of inches from the end down here to a couple of inches from the end down here. And obviously since the, the uh, air is pulling through this from that fan outside, if I take this little piece of tissue and I stick it up under here, you see it sticks. So what's happening here, that suction through those holes, you can see it move, you can, oh, you see that so it's, it's being sucked up through the holes. Here's the beauty of it, even down here where the suction is going to be a little bit weaker, it's still sticking. Even all the way down here at the end, it still sticks, so really can't. I mean, the, the best way to do it would be a smoke test, but I don't have a, any way to do that. Um, so this is going to work great. Uh, I have one final project, which I will uh, document. Probably going to get some materials tomorrow. My print washer used to sit right here. Ooh, need to clean that up. Print washer used to sit right here. But since I put the ventilation in, it will not fit. I actually had it on a piece of wood sitting up high. So the good news is it used to take up you know, almost a foot of my sink. Now I've got this extra foot back and I'm going to build a table. Same construction as the stand, but it's going to be tall. It'll come all the way up to here. And then the, the top will actually overhang just a little bit it'll come out to about right here so the print washer will sit up and now that, that'll be a tall skinny table so what i'll do is brace it that legs of that table to the legs of the, the stand here so it won't go anywhere and uh, this is the water supply for the print washer i'm going to have to extend it a little bit that's okay uh, and uh, we will be in business so just wanted to wrap it up Glad to have my dark room back together. I did some printing the other night. Be glad to get my print washer back so I can do my fiber fiber-based printing. Keep on fixing. Mm -hmm.